Hey, my name is Aya and this is my story how I survived both Syrian and ISIS war. You may have noticed in my last five videos from Iraq that very few women are seen publicly on the streets. And that's because sadly, Middle Eastern societies are dominated by men. I've been wanting to shine the spotlight on an Iraqi woman and it just so happens that I got introduced to Aya at a co-working space in Baghdad. While her story is tragic, I feel like it's important for her voice to be heard so we can all realize how good we have it. Aya is as inspiring as they come. So I'm here in Baghdad and I'm looking to make a people story and I just happened to meet Aya who is super awesome. We met in the co-working space and uh, I'm telling her story today and I can't wait for you guys to hear all about it. Uh, I'm Aya. I'm from Baghdad, Iraq. Uh, I am Iraqi and my, my mother is Iraqi and my father is Palestinian, but he's born in Iraq. So you're Iraqi Palestinian? Yeah. Right, you have Iraqi passport? Yeah, and I, and, uh, I have Iraqi heart. <laughs> and you're born and raised here in Baghdad? Yeah. How old are you? Uh, I'm 21. You're 21? You're yeah. so young. Yeah. Uh, how did you learn English so well? Uh, well, my story is like I dropped the school because of war a long time ago and uh, then uh, I actually had depression so in my age like in 16 so I, uh, I decided to take out this depression by learning English uh, alone at home. Uh, really? So yeah, I started uh, on YouTube with the channel, with English channel actually, even not Arabic teacher, from zero. Uh, so I decided like to keep learning and I improved myself. When did you start? What year? Uh, in 2016. Four years ago? Yeah. Wow, it's so fluent. Thank you. So tell me more about uh, your life story. So you're born in Baghdad. So when I was a kid in 2003 in Baghdad, I still remember some scenes when the Americans were in, in Iraq. Uh, well, they one night they came to our house and break in. Uh, in with, your house? Yeah, and with dogs, they just like want to check if we have like guns or something. And I was like terrified and I was very afraid. And at the same time, I met a lot of, um, I remember American soldiers. Uh, I remember one who gave me a chocolate and another girl who was American soldier who danced with me. I still remember that scene. When you were three years old? No, um, this is like after I was four or something like like that, yeah. When I was three years old, I remember like the shooting and this stuff. Yeah, it was a horrible memories. And then in 2009, we moved to Syria. We lived there and then the war came. We wanted like to settle down in Syria or maybe like uh, travel Europe. And then the war came in Syria. You went to Syria at a bad time, I, right before the war started. Yeah, in yeah, not that much lucky. <laughs> and so were you in Damascus? Yeah. In Syria, Damascus was usually safe compared to like Homs and Aleppo and other places. Yeah. So you stayed in Damascus, you didn't travel around. Right? No, no, I just in Damascus. It was a great city, uh, I loved it. My heart stayed there yeah. as a kid. The food is so good in Syria. Yeah, very good. <laughs> and then I came back uh, to Baghdad. Uh, after we like sold our house and everything, we didn't we didn't have anything. Uh, and then we moved to Mosul because it's uh, like uh, cheaper than Baghdad. And then ISIS came, <laughs> and another war. And I also dropped to school because of ISIS. And I also had depression because I couldn't like uh, go out of the home like for six months. Uh, when the ISIS came, I didn't leave the house because I have this idea like they will take the girls and like they rape them and do horrible things with them. So uh, I just had this like uh, very, very like uh, painful picture in my head and I just couldn't face it. So you went to Syria one year before the yeah. war and then you went to Mosul. One I year told you I'm not that much lucky. Oh my God, that's, that's terrible. 